looking for a new career in science? Cambridge Polymer Labs is now hiring for a variety of positions. Apply today. You looking to trade? Smiling Larry's got what you want. Would you be interested in working for me? I have a place you could set up shop. That sounds good to Smiling Larry. You have yourself a deal. I get paid to keep Larry alive, not to chat with the likes of you. Larry's the one to talk to you, unless you want a problem. Sorry, don't have anything to sell. I'm on my way to Vault 81 to restock. Maybe you can find what you need there. State of charity. 500 caps? We ain't going anywhere. We can't afford that. Please, we're just farmers trying to get home. What do we do, boss? Damn it. Kill him. Oh! Thanks, stranger. That's more than most would have done. Damn thugs. What's this world coming to? You looking to trade? What's your story? People want something. Smiling Larry finds it. Brings it to him. The whole Commonwealth knows me. Now, what about doing some trading? Not interested. You don't know what you're missing. <clears throat> you look like someone who wants to do some trading. Let's see what you've got. Smiling Larry always has something you need. there, girl. I can fix you up. Here. This will make you feel better. You need a name. I'll call you Sparky. and see me sooner next time? You shouldn't let it get that bad before seeing a doctor. I know, Doc. Sorry. It's just hard to get away, you know. Safe travels. I can patch you up if you need it. For a small fee, of course. Would you be interested in coming to work for me? I've got a nicely equipped clinic you could use. What a generous offer. I accept. I'll join you when I've finished up here. Doc's the best, isn't she? Hey there. Good day to you, stranger. You look like someone that appreciates the utility of a good set of armor. You interested in coming to work for me? I have a good spot you could set up shop. I'm intrigued. You have a deal. I'll head that way right now. Hold it right there. You want through, you gotta pay. 100 caps. And if I don't? Then you die. Any more questions? Come on. Do I look like I can afford that? How about 75? Be reasonable. 50. Final offer. 
Last chance. Give me a fair deal, and no one gets hurt. God, you know what? Just go already. This ain't worth my time. Not many doctors around these days. Should let me take a look at you. What's new, Doc? Been out of the loop. A lot of sick and injured taking up my time. Now, if you need treatment, let me know. Yeah. See what's wrong with me, Doctor. Go over your symptoms with me. Hurting all over, Doc. Oh, yeah, you know, I've seen worse. Better stitch you up before infection sets in, though. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? Feel better now that I'm cleaned up. Glad to hear it. Anything else? No, we're done. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? Thanks a lot. <laughs> Can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. Hey. Don't much care for good neighbor. That place is nothing but trouble. Hey. Didn't expect to see you again. How have you been? Not good, old friend. Not good. I'm just trying to get everything in order before I disappear. I'm basically living my life on the run. If I stay around here, Hancock's gonna kill me. That's all there is to it. Where are you headed? Not that I don't trust you, but I'm not gonna tell you that. Well, I really have to get going now. It was, uh, good seeing you again. Excuse me. The Institute and their technological abominations need to be stopped at any cost. Looks like Liberty Prime's coming along. Can't wait to see him smash the Institute. If it looks dead, put one more in its head for good measure. Why take the chance? Hey. With your reconnoiter of the Institute complete, we finally have first-hand knowledge about their facility. Ad Victorium, brother. Can you believe synths are replacing humans with exact duplicates? Makes me sick. <clears throat> Unless you like getting shot, never turn your back on a gunner. Nothing to report right now, Knight. Don't let Maxon's age fool you. He's a brilliant tactician and an experienced soldier. Hey there. Synths? FEV? Who knows what other sick projects the Institute's working on? We'll stop the Institute. For Maxon and for the Brotherhood. The Pritwin is a magnificent ship, and we're lucky to have her in our arsenal. Hi. When it comes to keeping the Pridwin running, Proctor Ingram's the best. Taking on a Deathclaw without backup is a great way to get yourself killed. The human-looking synths are the worst. They hide in plain sight. Excuse me. You know those synths with the plastic faces? Ugh, they creep me the heck out. I can't believe super mutants were human once. How could science have gone so wrong? Now that Dr. Lee's arrived, I'm certain she'll be vital to the Brotherhood's success. Curfew. By order of Provisional Governor Grant, a state of martial law has been declared. Under the terms of the Martial Law Act, Section 12.J, 
Those refusing to comply with the curfew order are to be pacified. Repeat, will you comply? Let me through. I'm on important military business. Analyzing vocal patterns. Confidence interval, 60%. Affirmative. You may pass. Attention! Attention all citizens! A mandatory curfew is in effect. Repeat, a mandatory curfew is in effect. Return to your homes and await further instructions. Hey. I don't know about Scrod Naraya. I think she loves her little zoo a bit too much. I can't wait to see Liberty Prime in action again. Greetings, Knight. Knight. Can't believe that Dr. Lee's returned to the Brotherhood. I thought she was a traitor. Excuse me. Damn ferals. Radiation has a twisted sense of humor. I'm proud to be serving under Elder Maxon. I had enough of Lyons and his foolish ways. Charging into a situation guns blazing is a good way to get yourself killed. Hey. Don't let Ingram catch you standing around. You'll be on report before you can blink. There's no time to waste when there's work to be done. Can't talk right now. Gotta clean the Mirelurk scat off my boots. Hey there. Oh man, if I'm late for muster one more time, Captain Kells is gonna have me doing a hundred push-ups. If you're looking for another safe haven, there's shelter and supplies at the police station in Cambridge. You haven't lived until you've tipped a Brahmin with a vertebrate. Now that's a challenge. <coughs> Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, brother. Maxon might appear compassionate, but I can assure you, the Institute will face his wrath. Once we decrypt that intel you recovered from the Institute, we'll know a lot more about them. <clears throat> I heard that Elder Maxon got that scar on his face from going one-on-one -on -one with a death claw. My duty shift was long, but I'm glad we're making a difference out here. Uh, <clears throat> if Elder Maxon ordered me to follow him to the gates of hell, I'd be the first one to kick them open. Hey, wanna make a deal? You out here all by yourself? Hardly. Gus looks out for me. So I don't get any ideas. Now, are you buying or not? I'll think about it. What? Don't trust a kid trader. Jeez, mister. Well, hello. Something you need? If you're not a customer, you're trouble. So what'll it be? Not looking to buy right now. Boring. Come on, Gus, let's go find some more rats to shoot. Do not interfere with security operations. As soon as I have conquered the land, once more, I will conquer the seas. The bombs fell before the world could learn of my sinister twin brother. Damn you, cliffhanger! Our paths cross again, Shroud. What good fortune. My righteous fury is only matched by the soul Shroud. Hey. And again, evil falls before me.
I'm so thirsty. Could you spare any water? What kind of water did you need? Purified would be wonderful, but anything you have would do. Of course. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Ahem. Thank you. I'm just gonna rest here a bit more until I get my strength back. Oh, it's you. Are you looking to buy some armor? What's your story? I was once a scribe in the Brotherhood of Steel. Back when that was something to be proud of. Back when we used our knowledge to help people, rather than simply hoarding it for our own power. When Squire Maxon took over, well, I didn't like the changes he made to the Brotherhood. Some said it was a return to our ancient traditions. Maybe so. But things are not necessarily better simply because they're ancient. So I left. Since then, I've been walking up and down in the world until I found myself here. So, were you interested in trading or not? Not right now, thanks. Well, then, good day to you, sir. 